Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Talisha, also known as Creativity by T, and I also go by that over on Instagram. And today I am coming to you with my 99 cent pattern haul from Simplicity. Now, I have a lot of patterns and I have done a lot of pattern shopping, but with the sales that have gone on recently, I mean, who can honestly resist a 99 cent pattern sale? So today I am going to show you my 99 cent simplicity pattern haul and in the next coming videos I will show you what I picked up from the spring McCall's from the Berta sale and the quick sew. so stay tuned for those videos without further ado let's go over to the table and look at the patterns that I picked up so this first pattern that I picked up is Simplicity 9232 and this is from the new spring collection for 2021 and I picked this up because it's very nice and simple it's a blouse but what really drew me to this pattern is the tie in the back and I really love a tie on the blouse so I like view B but I also like view C and the description of this is Mrs. Tops and it calls for crepes, cotton types, satins, shirting, silky types, stretch wovens, and it ranges from size 6 to 24. For me, I would end up cutting a size 20 for this. Here are the line drawings in the back. For yeah, just very simple, but I like it. The next pattern that I got is Simplicity 9231. I really, really like how simple this is, but yet it has these little small details in the blouse. So you see the little pleats there in the line drawing. Very simple, but you can wear those with some slim pants. Description is the Mrs. Blouse. You use chalets, charmeuse, cotton lawn, crepes double georgette lightweight linen shirting silky types yeah and so for this particular blouse i let me see finished garment measurements i would end up cutting a size 14 and i picked up 16 through 24 honestly because i usually never cut a 14 so i would just cut the 16 and i'm okay with that if i do need to take it in i'll take it in but um that's what I got for right now. So this next one, I have been watching a lot of videos and I have not seen anyone pick this one up yet, but I did get this. Now view A and view B does look a little strange with the one arm um, being, you know, with the one sleeve being missing on the side, but I actually think it's cute. I think I could rock that. So I picked it up for that strange looking view, <laughs> um, but it's also a very nice simple view when you look at view C. So I honestly think I would make both views. I picked up size 16 through 24 and for me, I would end up cutting an 18 on this and the description is Mrs. Tops and you can use Charmeuse, crepes, double Georgette, silky types, and I can definitely see crepes and silky types for this. And I think I would probably go with the silky type. And this is too also part of the new spring collection, same as the last one. Then we have this pattern here that's also part of the new spring collection. This is Simplicity 9236. It's a pants pattern. I honestly like every view on this. But what drew me to this was view C. I watched a review where someone had uh, picked this up, or I should say watched a haul where someone picked this up and they really laughed at the pleats in the pants. But I like joggers. I think joggers are nice because they kind of give me shaping. So this right here kind of put me in the mind of joggers, except for you can dress this up. So you can put some high heels, some nice high pumps with this, and you would still have like work pants, but they just have the pleats on the sides and they're still tapered on the bottom. So I thought that this was very stylish. I like it. And view C will be the first view that I will make 
from this particular pattern. I picked up size 14 through 22. Again, the description is Mrs. Pants. You can use lightweight denim, linen, microfiber, poplin, silky types, and soft cotton. For me, uh, my hips are not that wide, but I would end up sewing, to probably to be on the safe side, I would just stick with an 18. So yeah, I really like that. <laughs> I do. Maybe I would even pair that with this. So this too is part of the spring collection, which is Simplicity 9240. And it's just one size fits all for the pattern. I like this pattern because of just the sweatshirt and the bands that are included in there. There's a lot of sweatshirt patterns that I have, but the bottom band for the waist and the sleeves and the neckband are not there. You know, I do have them for t-shirt patterns, but this is specific for sweatshirt and their raglan sleeves. And I really love a raglan sleeve. So that is why I picked that up. For me, I would end up, according to this, I would be sewing a small. And I would probably just go with the medium because I never sew a small, even though I have learned that when these finished garment measurements are on here, they are accurate. So I'm sure I would be able to fit a small, but it is a sweatshirt. I would want some space. So I would just sew a medium because my bust is a 45 and the medium is a 47 at the finished measurement. So that's what I would sew. Um, eventually I would probably sew the hoodie, but for right now I will go with view A. Another new spring pattern that I picked up is Simplicity 9225, which is a dress. It's a, yeah, the description just says Mrs. Dress. I picked up size 16 through 24. I like all the views. I do. This is very, very pretty and chic to me. I really like the fabric that the uh, model is wearing and it just looks like some form of cotton but yeah I like all the views you can this is like a pattern that you could make for every season you have a shorter one for spring and summer that's could be a winter fall so it's very versatile the fabrics that are suggested are silky types such as crepe rayon soft linens but you can definitely use a cotton fabric for this so i think it's you know well-rounded pattern and then another spring collection pattern that i picked up is a mimi g this is very cute and i do plan on going on vacation this year and i will be on a beach during vacation and I thought this would be very very nice not only that it's not super tight fitted the skirt does kind of flare out a little bit um, the V on the front on the V on the bodice the wrap is loose on her so I can make sure that that I have that same type of looseness so that things are not clinging to my body and I really like the optional contrast here in the front. So I usually can't pick up a whole lot of her patterns because um, she normally has more tight fitted things and I really love her style, but my I'm just not comfortable with that. Um, so this was a win-win for me and it looks super duper easy to make. And I, I, I'm very happy, very pleased about this because I am a fan of hers and this is something that I can wear and feel comfortable and and my husband will appreciate this too. <laughs> so I picked up size 16 to 24 and the fabrics that it calls for are linen, soft cotton, chambray, silky types, batiks, and for me, I have a finished bust of 45, which is a size 14. But again, like I said earlier, I would want space for the opening on the bodice to not be super clingy on me. So I would sew up a 16. Very, very happy about this one. And then I got this. This is also a new spring collection. I am sure that I have something very similar to this, but I've got it anyway 
because it's very simple it's very versatile so i just wanted it 99 cents why not right this calls for stretch knits only such as jersey rib knit ity bamboo model knit sweater knit and it's a mrs knit top and skirt so for me for the top I would actually have to sew the largest which is a 24 and then the hip I would have to sew a size 18 then I picked up some other random simplicity patterns that have been out for a while this is simplicity 9219 and it's a mrs. petite sleepwear I picked it up not really for the sleepwear part I'm gonna make this the way I wanted to make this I will make sleepwear out of that but I also think that would be like a cute dress for the summertime it comes extra small through extra large and for the finished garment measurements at my bust I would have to make the extra large so yeah there's different views back here so for the pants there's three different lengths you can make it as a top or dress with cap sleeves three quarter sleeves or long sleeves and then a tank top or just sleeveless dress so you get a lot of variety out of it and i picked this up for my baby boy because he's in between sizes for his button down shirt so i picked this up for him and i'm actually going to be sewing him a ankara shirt for his birthday so that he can take his three-year-old pictures with that and it's extra small extra extra small through large so he'll be able to wear this for a while and i'm actually going to be tracing this pattern because there's really no need for me to have to keep going back and buying patterns when i can just trace it and this is a pattern that i will probably just sew over and over and over for him even and, and then when i say the pattern i'm talking about the whole entire pattern the shorts the pants the vest the tie you know just everything about this so yes he can wear this for a long time because the extra extra small is like 18 months and then the extra small is a one through three he's only a one so this pattern goes all the way up to 18 which is why i said this can be used for several years happy about that so then i picked this up simplicity 9013 it's been out for a little while it's a dress by cynthia rowley and its description is mrs dress in two lengths and the fabric suggested are cotton lawns double georgette silky types soft lightweight linen types and the finished measurements for me on the bust will be a size 16 and i picked it up because i really like the wilder gown and i believe that's by friday night Fr friday night patterns or something like that i can't remember the name but i've seen it all over youtube and instagram and i like it but i, I just i'm just not a super duper fan of pdf patterns and i just really don't want to send off to print when i can find something similar to it and only pay 99 cents i know that sounds cheap but i spend a lot of money on this stuff so that's just the way i see it but i do like all views which is just two view a and view be i think it's cute and i do plan on sewing that up with one of my crepe fabrics and i'm not sure which one i'm going to show so either a or b because the only difference is the length so i've picked this up before i already made this if you go to my instagram page you will see this and i also have a review of this on my youtube page but i made this but i cut it out too big so i gave it to my sister-in-law it came out beautiful and i have enough fabric to make another one so i picked it up again because it was only 99 cents and i am going to cut probably two sizes smaller i cut an extra large before so i will probably just make a medium then i picked up this simplicity 8987 it's easy to sew this is very versatile as well i just like how simple it is i have some sweater knit fabric that i just kind of want to sew up some simple everyday pieces with and i thought this pattern would work you have your view d here that is very simple and it has a raglan sleeve view c simple but cute i mean you just all you have to do is get good fabric or pretty fabric view b I like the 
uh, gathers and view B sleeves. And then you have A that's just very simple. And then the model is wearing view B. This is a Mrs. Top with sleeve variations. And you can use cotton types, crepe, double Georgette, double knit, linen types, poplin, ponte, shirting. So, I mean, you can basically use any type of fabric with this pattern. I like it. Then I picked up this Simplicity 8297 in size 14 through 22. And the description is Mrs. Shirt with sleeve and hem variations. And the fabric suggested are chalets, chambray, cotton lawns, cotton types, linen types, poplin, shirty, silky types. And the contrast can be in lace. For me, I would end up sewing a size 20 because I'm a perfect match for 18, but I wouldn't do that with a button down with no stretch. So I would go with the 20. And I picked it up for only view D, which is what the model is wearing. You can't fully see the flounce, but it's, if you look at view D picture here, this is what she's wearing. It's a button down with a flounce. So I'm looking for things like that to help with shaping like it reminds me of more of like the fit and flare type dresses and I thought it was cute simplicity 8947 I picked up and I think I think I have this already but I couldn't remember so I just picked it up anyway because it was only 99 cents and I like view a and view D and what really draws me to this pattern is the band on the bottom so that's my thing with with these type of sweater dresses I just really love the band and it comes in extra extra small through extra extra large the finished bust measurement for 45 and a half is a medium so I would go with a large just so that I could have space and it won't be tight on me and this is a mrs. knit sweater shirt and mini dress the fabric suggested are double knit fleece sweatshirt fleece and terry knit this right here i picked up i have passed up this pattern many times and then i saw main course on youtube and instagram post a picture of herself in view a gorgeous gorgeous i mean i just passed it up because i don't really like kimono style uh, cardigans and I didn't particularly like how these pictures looked on the front cover but seeing her in a dress which I have a simplicity sleeveless dress that I've made before that looks similar to that but I just kind of once I saw this in the models I just kind of passed it up because they really didn't do any good thing for me but once seeing her on the pictures and then I looked up some other pictures through the hashtag 8091 on Instagram and I just saw some beautiful makes. So this is perfect because it's not gonna cling to my body yet. I think it will be very nice and attractive and the right fabric and it's short and that will be like a date night type of dress. So I really like that. Again, it's extra, extra small through extra, extra large. I'll definitely be tracing this one. The bust finish measurements for 45 is a small. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sew a small uh, because again I don't want it to be too short and I don't want it to be too tight. So I will make a medium in that. And then the last one that I got is another one for my baby, Simplicity 1566. And I mainly got that, got this one for the vest here, which is view E and possibly view F but really for view E. So that is all that I have for this Simplicity haul. I hope you like what you saw. Let me know in the comments below if you've picked up any of these patterns and which one is your favorite one. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have not done so already I invite you to subscribe and thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!